Hi people, um, I want to quickly introduce myself. I'm Joshua. I just moved to the Gambia a few days ago um, to open the first hostel here in this beautiful country. We are sitting here in the garden of my bro. Hello, I'm Buba, a friend of Joshua. We've been friends for a long time ago. Long and this, time. And this is the third time coming up in Gambia. Yes, uh, we met each other in Switzerland. Um, he had to go back, as most of you know already. And um, yeah, now I'm here to build something up. First, I need to say this is the first time I'm talking in front of the camera, so I feel it's very out of my comfort zone and I'm feeling a bit nervous as well. But hopefully, in the future, this video is getting better and better. Um, yeah, I want to start a vlog here. Um, documented what I'm doing, documented mostly the part of the hostel uh, project and yeah, for this first video is about my arriving uh, before I overtake a hotel. Tomorrow I'm gonna start working, I had some days to arrive here to acclimatize um, to this hot weather again from Switzerland from minus degrees to 30 33 degrees in the evening is cooling down it's very chilly um, yes what we did the first days um, first we went to Mamakoto Mamakoto is the compound where his family is living with sister auntie nephews all the kids um, I feel very very welcome there um, they see me as a part of their family already. The kids were waiting, it was so cute. Um, even some kids were asking the last two years, where's Joshua, where's the tuba? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, it was a nice um, return coming back to them. Um, we met his friends, we were just chilling, drinking Ataya, Ataya is their very local common. food. It's very common here. Like, Every boy body like they like to drink atara. Yes, they drink day in day out. Ataya is green tea, right? Yeah, green tea. Green tea. But the local language is called ataya. And um, yeah, we were having nice uh, food, local dishes. Mostly we eat at Mamakoto at Buba's family. If we arrive there, food is being served right away. It's so beautiful how. Uh, how it works, uh, how polite they are to guests. Um, we did sports. He is worried about his uh, bowel, <laughs> stomach. Me, I need to start training again. We didn't do a lot of sport the last few months, so we try to push each other to motivate yeah, each other. To motivate each other. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we keep going. It would be a nice goal. Uh, obviously, Buba showed me around through the public transport they have. Uh, the cheap ones. The local cheap ones, not the expensive taxi ones. Um, organized some SIM cards, uh, just, yeah, just casual things. It's a very nice feeling for me to be here and uh, not feeling any rush like i don't need to see the crocodile park or i don't need to go to the beach today because i only have two weeks time i feel very relaxed and um, it's a nice feeling not needing to rush in this beautiful country so i know i'll have it also the next day if i want it um, which i appreciate but of course we went to the beach we had some good time at the beach we played football, um, had some fresh, fresh fruit juices. 100% natural. 100% natural. No sugar. No water. <laughs> no water. <laughs> um, yes, we were watching some AFCON football, um, some tennis. I'm into tennis, so we had to. This guy had to watch with me four hours of tennis. Sorry. No, <laughs> idea. And yeah, at the moment, the first few nights I stayed at his apartment. Um, I'm having another apartment close by. 
uh, but his apartment is, was still free. Um, but tonight I'm gonna move to my apartment and uh, yeah, it's gonna start slowly. Um, and we're gonna start the work for uh, tomorrow at the, at, the, at the Tomorrow, yes, I will start working in the hotel. This will, I will introduce you to this hotel for sure um, very soon. And yeah, no, but all in all, I feel already almost a bit home. Uh, I feel very welcomed here. I'm enjoying it a, lo a lot. And it was nice to have some days to just arrive, um, to get used to the culture as well. Cause like his friend, um, he had to tell me once because I was taking the trash from his home, wanted to take it <laughs> to my home. He was like, Joshua, you're not in Switzerland anymore. You're in Africa now. And yes, this is really a sentence I need to take with me. So far, I'm feeling very, very welcome and home. That's my little brother. That's my big boy. Um, we're gonna make something big here in Gambia and I'm very excited for this journey. And yeah, we can't wait. We do something good for this country and for the people too. For ourselves for sure as well. Yeah. Bless, respect and Ciao, see you in the next vlog. This was number one.